situation with Project Pat? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I mean, it's not like a, a deal, but we got a relationship, you know what I mean? We done, we done plenty of records together. We got videos out, you know what I mean? He helped me come on a couple of their tour days that him and Juicy had, where Juicy had a rubber band business tour, and he would let me come on their set, do me like a little 15 minutes, and you know what I mean? He would really talk to me, like after everything done after the video, after the song, I would talk to him on the phone, and he, I was like, damn, I ain't thought Project Pat was who he really was. I mean, he is like a G, a street nigga, a trap rapper, but the shit that we talk about on the phone, like he be telling me about like the certain morals and you gotta have positive energy. And if you got positive energy when you're doing something wrong and you're doing it the right way, you still could be blessed. He said, you just gotta play things the right way. Don't never have bad intentions. And like he said, like, I mean, you just gotta, you really gotta find that niche. You gotta, you gotta find what everybody else ain't doing. And you gotta make sure you just don't just attack it for one second and it's cool. Everybody think they make a little noise. They do a couple world star videos, put a couple mixtapes out, they straight, but you gotta keep on killing it with consistency. You know what I mean? It gotta be in you to do that anyway. How did you guys initially link? That seems like an odd relationship. I mean, Pat, we linked up through his dude, Big Trail. Like, his, Big Trail was like his manager. And I mean, I was putting out a bunch of stuff on Worldstar because I was in South Carolina looking at everybody doing music and figuring out like, why we ain't, why none of us ain't getting no look for no real artists, ain't none of us connecting with no real artists, I connected with no real pros. I say, why is that? I say, the niggas that I know, that street niggas that's getting money, that's even doing stuff, they still ain't making that connection. So I say, man, I'm a flat world star. And so somebody gonna hear me, like somebody gonna see that, yo, this, this nigga actually got some talent, this nigga actually dope. And Big Trail said he saw my video Green Crack and Dope Lines, and he was like, dude, hard. And he mentioned it to Pat, and him and Pat called me one day, but I ain't thought it was really him, and I was like, man, this ain't really Pat. And he was like, man, I'm telling you, Trail was like, I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't scam you. So I'm telling you, I'm Pat Manager. And I said, everybody always be telling me that this, this person manager. And when he called me, he was like, man, that Green Crack song you got, he said, that shit fire, man. He said, I won't get on that shit. And I was like, you know what I mean? Everybody asked me like, will you charge him? I say, man, I ain't gonna charge him nothing. I say, that's an opportunity. Every opportunity gotta be about money. You ain't gotta be like, you ain't wanna have somebody see you got talent and the first thing, you come out with a stink ass attitude like, yo, break the book out, let me get them bands. Like, you can't do that. I mean, you can do that, but you are gonna see how far this shit gets you. You know what I mean? And with him, when I did that song with him in the Green Crack, he was like, man, I got the I Got Strong song I did with Dolph on my Street Guy mixtape. Since I already got that out, I'll remix it and throw you on it. And he did that for me, and I was like, that was cool. And that gave me two songs to perform at like the shows too. So I was like, you know what I mean? He was giving, giving the brother love, you know what I mean? How was the reaction on you at the shows? The shows, pretty good, man. I mean, I was kind of, I ain't know I was saying nervous, but I was skeptical about the crowd. Cause I mean, at they shows, they be bringing a real diverse crowd. I thought it was gonna be like a hood crowd. But at a Juicy J show, man, it's like all races, I mean, and that hood crowd. So they just want to have that good feel, that feel good music, man. And everybody smoke weed. And you get up there with a good song about weed, with a good jingle, a good, good chorus, they're going to rock with you. You know what I mean? So every time I did a show, the energy's been good. And they always give well back. You know what I mean? So I ain't had a bad show yet.